Hello guys, now we're going to do this problem that says the uniform concrete slab has a mass of 2400 kilograms. Determine the tension in each of the three parallel supporting cables when the slab is held in the horizontal plane as shown. So what's important to note in this free body diagram is that it's missing the weight. That is an arrow straight down, I swear. Alright, the weight is equal to 2400 times... 9.81 which is the acceleration of gravity and that gives you the weight in newtons which should comes out to be 23.54 kilonewtons no sorry uh 23.54 yeah kilonewtons and that is for the weight and now this problem is actually really easy because all the forces are going in the c direction there's no forces going in the x and the y which means we don't we don't have to deal with complicated matrices. Now, remember for these problems, the first rule is always find all the resultant forces in the x, the y, and the c. But there's no resultant forces in the x and the y because there's nothing there, so it's only in the c. So sum of the forces in the c, which is equal to zero, is equal to tension A plus tension B plus tension C minus the 15 kilonewton force being applied right here uh, minus the weight being applied right here which is the one I was saying it was missing so that being said you solve this equation and you're gonna get that 38.5 K is equal to TA plus tension B plus tension C so now we're going to need to find um, a couple of other equations because we have three variables and only one equation. If we had two more equations, we should be able to solve this pretty easy. We're going to do the sum of the moments and we're going to pick x. Why are we going to pick x? Because if we pick the x-axis, we're going to get rid of variable ta and variable tv. And the more variables we get rid of, the better. That being said, if you were looking at the axis from this direction, then sum of the moments at x is equal to zero, assuming counterclockwise is positive, as if I was looking from this direction, okay? So that is equal to zero and is equal to the moment being generated by the 15 kilonewton force is equal to minus 15k times 0.5. Why 0.5? Because the distance from the x-axis to the force is 0.5, given right here. And it's negative because it makes it a clockwise motion. Plus the tension at C times 2.5, which is C is right here. And the distance from the x-axis to C is 2.5, which is the sum of these two numbers. Minus the weight, which is 23.54k times 1.25 because the moment created by the weight which is the distance from here to here times the weight is half of 2.5 which is 1.25 uh, when you solve this you notice that you only have one variable here so this is awesome tc is equal to 14.77 kilo newtons and we already have one of the answers now some of the moments are y is equal to zero. I'm going to pick y and I'm going to get rid of t of a. And it is equal to the moment b generated by b, which is as if I was looking from here. Let's forget to explain that. Assuming counterclockwise is positive, as if, as if I was looking directly from the top of the y axis. So that means that the moment b created by b tries to spin it clockwise, which is minus t b times 2 because the distance from b to a is 2 given right here plus the weight times 2 because the weight is also at the halfway point and the distance from here to here is 2 minus t tension c times 4 because the tension is at the other end of the slab which is has a length of 4 meters plus 15k times 3 the 15k from the x axis, sorry, from the y axis has a distance of 3 meters. And we have the weight, which we found it right here, 
and we have tension C, which we found it right here. So if we plug those numbers in and we show for tension B, you should get that tension B is equal to 16.5 kilonewtons. Now, if we go back to equation one, calling this equation one, right? And we plug in tension B and tension C and solve for tension A, you should get that tension A is equal to 7.23 kilonewtons. Final answer for tension A, final answer for tension B, and final answer for tension C. If you made it this far, please make sure you go to finalanswer.com. There you're going to find all the videos I've been working on and six ways to support this channel. And make sure you check my merch store by going to store.finalanswer.com.